Hi everyone, I'm Rich. It's really great to be with you for your assembly today. Hello and I'm Zoe. I hope you're all be enjoying being back at school and seeing your friends. It's so cool to be here today for our special Easter assembly. That's right. It's great. Now, some of you might have seen us before at your last assembly where we talked about God's love. Our friend Anne read this amazing story about Punchinello and his dots and stars. And that story reminded us that no matter what we do, whether it's good or bad, God will always love us. That's right. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit more about God's love and just how much we believe he loves us but before we do that we've got a quick game and hopefully you'll have a ruler with you so you can join in with Claire and Lauren. Hi everyone great to see you we've got a quick kind of game or activity for you to do what we need you to do is grab your rulers where you are you don't need to get up just grab a ruler we're going to measure some things yeah. firstly Lauren what about measuring the width of your hand Ooh. from thumb to finger. See Ooh. how long that is in centimetres probably? Yeah. Right and who on your table maybe has the biggest? Yeah. What about measuring your face, Lauren? Ooh. How long is your face? Quite or long. maybe you could grab a pencil. Oh, grab a pencil. How long is your pencil? If it's a new one, it might be longer than one you've been using for a yeah. long time. Grab that. How long is it? And maybe, a bit different, what about measuring your foot? How long is your foot? Yeah. Lauren's feet are quite long. Anyway, have fun doing some measuring. Yeah. See you soon. Thanks, Claire and Lauren. I hope you enjoyed doing some measuring in your classrooms. Did you enjoy it, Rich? Yes, I did. You can't be a bit of measuring. But I wonder if Lauren's feet are bigger than mine. What do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. It might be pretty close. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we'll find out sometime. Um, but I, you know what, Rich? I've got some pretty cool facts for you this morning about how big some things are. Are you ready for some facts? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm always ready for facts. Brilliant. Well, first of all, have you got a shoelace? I've got a shoelace. shoelace. I've got, have you? Oh, right. Let me just, yeah, got one. We've got a shoelace. So if we put our two shoelaces together across the screen this way. Yeah. Yeah, like that. They're kind of pretty joined together. That looks pretty wide, yeah? yeah? If you put them two together, that's pretty wide. That, that is, I'd say that's very, that's very wide, yeah? Yeah, that's good. But did you know we've got two shoelaces here? It would take 44 million shoelaces to wrap all the way around the world. 44 million. Oh, 44 million. That's, that's, that's loads. That, that is loads. But I know something that is even wider. No way. What's wider than that? What? God's love, of course. God's love is even wider than all the way around the world. Oh my goodness, that is wide. Well, that's wide, but what about long? So the River Nile is really long. If you stood at one end of the River Nile, the water would flow 4,100 miles before it got to you. That is like running along 72,000 football pitches. I don't think I could do that. 72,000 football pitches. Are you up for running that far? I, I don't think I could count that far. Never mind run that far. That is, that is long. But guess what? God's love is even longer than that. Really? That is amazing. I know, right? Well, I've got another fact for you there. You know, earlier we said how big the world was with all the shoelaces. Well, did you know you would need 11,733 worlds on top of one another to reach the sun? That is high. That's, that's, that's really high. And the, the, like when you see the sun, the sun is really high. But guess what? Let me guess. You reckon that God's love is even higher 
than that? It sure is. It's so high. God's love is the widest. It's the longest. It's the highest. It's bigger than you can imagine. Wow. Mind blown. Yeah, that is so cool. But Rich, I don't really get what what's all that got to do with Easter, because that's what we're here to talk to the kids about today, right? Easter. So what's all that got to do with that? That's right. We're going to talk to you about Easter. And here is the really cool thing. If you thought all the facts was cool, this is the really cool bit. As Christians, we believe that God's love for us is so big that, in fact, the first Easter, he chose to walk a really, really long road that led him outside of the city of Jerusalem. And when he got to the end of the road, he loved us so much that he spread his arms out really wide. Why didn't you spread your arms out really wide? And when the soldiers saw him nailed with his hands and his feet to the wood, and then they lifted him up high on the cross. Wow. So God's love, Jesus's love for us was so long, so wide and so high that he was willing to die on the cross for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He did it for you. He did it for me. He did it for every single one of you. And do you know why he did it? He did it because he loved us so, so much. He was willing to take the punishment for all the wrong things we ever do so we can live our best life forever and ever. That is absolutely amazing. I am so glad and so happy that God loves me that much. And I hope all the children who are watching this assembly have really understood that that includes them. God loves them too. Yeah, me too. God's love is amazing and it's never ending. Now, We've got a song for you from Lauren, who helped us out in our last assembly. And I thought it was so good that why don't we do it again? Lauren's got some of her friends to join in and help this time. So kids, if your teacher says it's OK, why don't you stand up on your feet and join in with the actions too? to be 
Tells us about how big God's love is. Yeah, that's right. It's so good. Well, Zoe, we're at the end of our assembly for today. It's it's time to say goodbye. Well, Rich, we can say goodbye, but just before the end of the assembly, I think our friend Louise has got some special Easter events and competitions to tell everyone about. Oh, great. Do you know what? That's so exciting. So thanks everyone listening to our assembly today and you know what we can't wait to see you next time bye bye hello hello who would like to win all of this chocolate there is so much chocolate here who likes chocolate Sorry, who? Oh, quite a lot of you. Who would like to win, like, quite a lot of chocolate and some other amazing prizes? Let's move all this out of the way so I can see you all. Wow, you can win this amazing prize with loads of chocolate in and some other really good stuff. All you have to do to be able to win a great big chocolate prize is decorate an egg for Easter. Really easy, you can decorate any egg, it could be a real egg, it could be a picture of an egg and then send your photo in to me, all the information will be on the screen for you to have a look at by um, the 5th of April and you could win this amazing prize with loads of chocolate and loads of other goodies in it. Um, for more information, to tell your parents and carers, tell them to have a look on Ashwood Church's Facebook page and all the information will be on there how you can win a great prize. Also, for something fun to do in the Easter holidays, Get yourself down to Kingsway Park, at, or if you live closer to Holidays Hill Park, um, and you can do a really good treasure hunt. So we're going to hide some pictures of some Easter stones around the park. You need to find them, um, write down where you find them, and then the following week, bring them to the Ashwood Centre, and I'll be there, and Rich will be there, and maybe some other people, and we'll give you um, maybe a bit more chocolate, that's if you like chocolate, um, and an Easter activity pack. Now, how good does that sound? Stuff to keep you entertained all over Easter, and it includes all of this. So check the Ashwood Church Facebook page, and it'll give you all the information that you need. See you later, guys. Bye.